All this comes just days ahead of a meeting of European finance ministers. Julia Chatterley in Athens has more now on the debt drama and what might happen next. Political posturing is what European leaders seem to do best. And oh boy, did Greece kick off the week with some heavy stuff. We had Prime Minister Tsipras of Greece talking about pulling back some of the austerity measures the country's been forced to swallow over the last few years, raising the minimum wage. He's also promised to increase pensions at some point in the future too. We also had the finance minister saying, look, the Eurozone is a whole pack of cards. If you pull the Greek card out, the whole thing's going to be tumbling down. So this is the hardline stance it seemed the government was taking. But we are starting to get some details of just what their program for the future would be. The question is, are European leaders going to accept it? They want to do something about the humanitarian crisis. They want to do something as far as debt is concerned and to reduce the overall level of debt. They also want to lower primary surplus for this country. There's a whole host of things they want to do. The question is, are European leaders going to say absolutely not? And there's rules here that need to be followed. I think my guess here is actually that we don't reach an agreement at the Eurogroup when all the leaders get together on Wednesday and actually we take this right down to the line when the second meeting is held and that's going to be a week on Monday. The question is, will the European Central Bank continue to fund the Greek banks in the interim and keep this country afloat? It's going to be a tough few days for Greece whether or not this happens and some tough negotiations to come. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Chatterley in Athens.